Welcome. Today we're going to talk about Slurp uh, for Obsidian, which helps me save web pages. Uh, I found it literally just after, possibly the day after, maybe even a few hours later. Uh, I did my Obsidian 2026 setup video, like I showed you all the plugins, everything. I'll link that wherever it is above. Um, and I talked about how to read it later and the Obsidian web, pl web clipper uh, extensions and like uh, Firefox or I use Zen extension wasn't working and I had to like, it gave me some of the notes, but not all the information. I had to like do double entry. And it was ultimately just a pain in the butt. That's it. <laughs> it was a pain in the butt. So uh, just after that, I searched read later in the community plugin and I found Slurp. Let's take a look at Slurp. And we have, so let's start here by just going to the settings. And if we're going to get Slurp, we would go to community plugins, check Oh, not check for updates, we go to browse, we'd search, read later, uh, and a slurp. Oh, what did I find then? I don't know, I don't remember what my search term was clearly. Slurp. So I have it installed. Uh, if you don't have it installed, this will say install and enable. And if you don't even see community plugins, then there'll be a right here to turn on uh, community plugins. Uh, and then we can come to our settings, slurp. And there's only a few. So I set the folder, sources, clippings. Uh, I honestly just left everything the same, right? You can change the properties that show up. So the link, the byline, the site, date, updated, all that stuff. Uh, Onion, uh, so if you want to, uh, that's on tour, if you want to link to that. Uh, I don't do anything with there. I didn't add any new properties. Uh, you can parse tags. So this uh, here will like give you tags for the sites, right? You can see abc7news.com, uh, stuff like this. It will give you a bunch of tags and it can be problematic, the author says, or because it gives you a lot of tags and you can also tag prefix. So you could tag a slurp dash and every tag would then get slurp at the beginning. Didn't do it. Uh, maybe, I think I touched this just to look at it. I don't know if I changed it though. Uh, and that would be the case of your uh, tags. Not even coming up right now, so I'm not sure why. Um, that you, so you can change them and then some debug stuff. So I didn't really do any of that, um, but let's start with how we use it. Uh, I think it was what? Eight. And so uh, and I'm going to use a uh, key command YY. So I use Vimium C in my browser, which lets me control everything from my browser. Otherwise, you'd hit uh, I do control L and then control C. I think it's command L and C uh, to do it in Mac. Uh, it should be control L and C in Windows. And then we'll go back to seven. Uh, so I'm going to hyperland. So super seven for me to get to this workspace. And I would type slurp, create note from URL. I paste the note in, hit enter. That's it just comes on came in my byline uh came in my excerpt so it knew how to parse wordpress with the title and it brought it all in for me and then i could highlight my content if i wanted now i can also go delete uh, current file if we go back to the browser uh, and look at slurp here uh you can find it on github i guess you also find it in the community plugins um but right here it talks about using the bookmarklet in the browser extension so because um, they're going to come with browser extensions soon, he says. And you can grab this bit of JavaScript. So you can hit copy. And I already, oh, you can't see it because I have, oh, Slurp is right there. Sweet. Oh, I have a bunch of other stuff. I need to, my power went out. And so clearly my bookmarks have uh, doubled. And I need to kill some of them, which we'll do another time because I don't need to do it now for you. Delete. Uh, and so Slurp is already in there. You would come up here and hit uh, add bookmark. Is it going to show me? Add bookmark. I'd name it slurp. And I'd paste in the JavaScript. I'm not going to do that because I already have it here. And then I can go to the site and I can hit slurp. And it should come over into Obsidian. All right, there you go. Came in there right away. Now, what you'll find too, let's go to delete current file. I don't need it. I will go back to eight. Uh, let's find another site. Oh, which site should we go? Let's go to 404 Media. And just grab anything here. So what you'll find though in Slurp uh, because of browser security stuff, which is good. This is a good thing. Um, if we hit the bookmarklet now, it's gonna ask, always allow. So now that I've clicked this, it will always allow uh, 404 media the site only to send content to obsidian now i can hit open link and if i go back you can see i've now pulled in that content i'll delete it again because i don't need that 
So that's Slurp. I like it. It has taken uh, the place of my other content. Uh, like I said, the read later Obsidian Web Clipper plugin, because uh, it works and those didn't. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, you can support the channel by becoming a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Um, or you can join the newsletter, curtismichael.ca slash book club, one word, where we are... Uh, are currently reading uh, Take Back the Fight, which is about uh, feminism in the digital era. I finished reading it, uh, and there's a, certainly a few, two or three real key uh, good ideas about uh, activism and how to take it forward, or about how um, neoliberalism, uh, corporate feminism, corporate anything really, uh, is used, uh, weaponized against us, which ties into dark PR uh, by Grant Ennis as well. So if you wanna find all those posts, uh, you can join the email list. Have an awesome day.